Uh, but Draymond Green talked to the media on Saturday, and here he's talking about the ring ceremony. You know, we, we, we just won a championship. Uh, in nine days, ten days, there will be a ring ceremony. My family will be here. His family will be here. I'm sure they'll be here. And quite frankly, that's an elephant in the room. That's something that, uh, you know, it, it's weird, you know. And on, on a night where it should be celebration and love, and it still will be, but there is like this 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 dark cloud in the room, and I caused that, you know. So I, I apologize to, to his family uh, and just what they've had to deal with over the course of the last 24 to 48 hours. I will do what I have to do to make that right. All right. Said the right thing, right? You know what? Again, Stanley, you've been working with me five years. I'm not perfect. I just think he talks too, too soon. And I'm going to say this. If I were him and I did that, I would say, you know what, people? I was so over the top and I embarrassed myself, this organization, and my family. I don't even deserve to be at ring night. And tell me wh what world I'm in, Stanley, to where... Maybe that's what I want some more sincerity. And I can't say he wasn't. But to me, those are the measures to where Jordan Poole can look around on re night and be or drive home and be like, dude wanted to be here. It took everything he had not to be a part of this. That's the type of stuff to win Jordan back. And maybe that's not enough. But to say, I don't know if I'm a play, I'm a be. I don't know, Stani, again, maybe I'm I'm being naive, but that those are the things to me. I would like to hear if I'm Jordan Poole that would mean something. Am I crazy? I'm going to remove myself from ring night. Steiny, well, I don't deserve to be there. I mean, it all, to me, depends on Jordan Poole. What's Jordan Poole able to do? Is there anything bigger than this task? It's asking Draymond... I'm sorry. It's asking uh, Jordan Poole to, to be... to turn the other cheek. Mm. Is more Draymond from Saturday. You know, I've heard reports that, you know, oh, it's, it's over a contract or him getting an extension or me getting an extension. I can assure you that's, I don't, I don't count other people's pockets, number one. And so that's, that's not something I would ever start doing. The way I was raised, that, that is simply hating on another man's situation. And, and that's something that you just don't do. All right. I mean, that's to me irrelevant, whether it was about money or not doesn't really matter what was at the heart of the issue for those two. Let me take a call. Yeah. Let's go to Jay. Then we'll get back to this sound. We'll get back to the, oh, yeah, Jay and San Bruno. Hey, Jay, how you doing, man? I'm good. How you doing? Doing well. All right. Uh, I just want to talk about Draymond. I think the biggest punishment for Draymond would, to, would be to miss the ring night. I mean, he's... He does all this talking about being tough, and he's never punched a, uh, another player, but he punched someone who he went to a finals with and won it with. So, to me, he, Dre kind of lost me there. Fair enough. Thanks for the call, Jay. Appreciate it. So, you know, I went golfing all weekend, so I was around 10, 12 guys, and that's a big group. Eight one day, four the other. Yeah. What'd you shoot? Uh, Saturday, we played 27 holes. We didn't really... We were in a competition, okay. so there's a lot of a lot of best ball. So yeah. I don't really have a yeah. personal How'd score. You do? How did you I played well. Okay, I won money. Right. Whoa! Yeah, I won money. Right. If that's what you're asking. Right. Uh, and then Sunday, money. yesterday, just played in, uh, 86. Yesterday. All right. Nah, had a bad real one. Real bad par three. Uh, Put your chins up. Your hands up. You're oh, in good spirits. Hell yes. Yeah. Hell yes. Uh, where was I? Uh, with the group, and you were talking about this. Uh, with the group. Oh yeah. Let me tell you something. This is everybody is talking about Draymond no Green, and the, now y you know about how old I am, and so naturally I have a lot of friends who are in my age group, and I was pretty surprised at how many of of I don't want to call it the older generation, but the very mature generation, age wise at least. A lot of these guys were done with Draymond, like just done, like. You know, you get to a certain age, kind of like ours, and, and the violence, it, you just don't, you just don't want to see it anymore. You, right. It's, it's gross. It's disgusting. And so, a lot of my buddies were saying, this should be it, man. Like, get, like, wow. just, 
it's time. You know, my my one buddy Dave, he's like, look, I I just think it's time. You know, it's been a good run, but this it's time. It's time. Let it's time to move on from Draymond. I was surprised, but definitely more than half the guys were like, yeah, that wouldn't surprise me. And I'm a, I'm just preparing you because you're already in it. Up until three o'clock, Donnie, and we did it with Willard and Dibs. You know, the million dollar question is, what if Jordan Poole was a part of your golf? Like, that's the other part. I keep saying, how's he going to react? But could it be fair or is it okay for me to ask you? What if, He shouldn't have to face that question. Because normally if Dre was removed, he could move on and not have to face what we're asking him. Which is a big ask to me. No and doubt. Steve Kerr saying he's a part of our future, that meant to me, if he takes it, he ain't going nowhere, Jordan Poole. And we already talked about what was the slogan of this season. Somebody's not getting a bag. And I don't know what you didn't say it. I thought maybe some of that punch and that animosity was him looking at Jordan Poole like, you might affect my future. But Draymond, to his credit, said that wasn't, you know, that that, that wasn't in his mind. But I'm going to say this. There's a lot being said about Draymond, and he mentioned it was going through some stuff off the court. And here I go, Stiney. Do you know how much I go through off the radio with you and I don't bring that to work and you don't know? So like, you tell that's me, not good You tell enough. me everything about it. <laughs> it's just off the air. Well, so no, I know what you know, yeah, but, Everybody's but got stuff. that's not an excuse, people. No, it's not. It's not. It's not. What about you know, the concert, him at the concert, Mayor J? Just a bad look. I'm not That's hold, all. We can't tell you what look. to do. Exactly. But you, hey, I, that don't look remorseful. <laughs> In fact, that kind of looked like, I don't, I did. Andre Iguodala, I kind of do what I want. Where's he at? It's a good question. I, it's a good so question. So am I wrong, Dad? No, you said it's a good question. Where's Andre? Such a good question, I'm not really sure. Cut that. Ron in Oakland. What's up, Ron? How you doing, man? Hey, what's up, Matt? What's up, Guru? How are you? Hey, hey. Doing good. Doing good. Now, um, I'm with your I'm with your golf pals, uh, Matt. Uh, I'm I'm out on I'm out on Draymond, man. I mean, it's, it's, uh, enough is enough, man. You, you can't give him the benefit of the doubt anymore. And then the Mary J. Blige, that was like the nail in the coffin for me. Man, when I seen him at the Mary J. Blige concert, I'm like, come on, Trey. I'm not saying you got to go stick your head in the sand, but man, dude, you, you don't care. The actions show it. So, mm -hmm. now to me, I think. Let Draymond do do Jordan Poole a fool. That's the least we could do for Jordan. Jordan should not have to make a decision on whether Man. he wants to play with Draymond or not. They should just get rid of Draymond. They take that out the equation and don't put don't put any more pressure on Jordan than he has already. Thanks, you guys. Appreciate the time. Thanks, Ron. Appreciate it. Yeah, no Abdel Gad uh, Gadero from YouTube says he can't leave his house. No, who uh, Draymond? It's not about that. It's just having self. Ref to know it'll be a bet. I want to go to the concert, Stoney, like I want to go to ring night, but I'm not because I effed up. I knocked the hell out of my teammate. I'm embarrassed. I don't deserve to be at a concert letting the world know I'm having a good time or I'm in good spirits. Sometimes you got to take a play off, even if you don't want to, but for PR. So don't tell me he's sorry if you're still going out dancing. Like if I'm Joan Poole and saw that IG... Like this dude, this the dude that hit me up. Huh? Yeah, that's why it's all coming down to Jordan Poole, as far as I'm concerned. It's gonna come down to Jordan Poole and how he feels about this. Here's more Draymond. This is um, this is just Draymond. Take a listen. You know, I am a very flawed human being, and I think I personally know those flaws better than anyone. The work that I've done to correct those flaws, I think has been tremendous. And yet there's still a very long way to go. I think that's a constant work in process. I am a constant work in process and I'll continue to do that work. I think the day that that took place, I was in a very, very, very bad space mentally, dealing with some things uh, in my personal life that, you know, I, I can't sit here and say like, oh, you're dealing with some things in your personal life that that didn't shorten your temper, that that didn't, you know, that that, that didn't change your reaction in, in moments. Like, all those things are tied together, and I think that's where you get to see the human being side of us, you know, where 
if you are dealing with something, when you step on the court, it just doesn't go away. You know, that's the same brain, that's the same body that is dealing with something that's now stepping onto that court. And as a leader of this team, I needed to have a better feel for myself and just know and understand like where my wicks in were was and you know what could possibly what could possibly push me the wrong way and quite frankly i didn't handle that well and i failed as a leader and in turn um i failed as a man i failed as a leader and in turn it's led to this man my feeling on everything he said saturday was he said all the right things saturday but that's the bare minimum okay and he can't do anything by virtue of his mouth that will prove that he can get this under control. The only thing that will prove if he can get it under control is if he gets it under control. And that's kind of where I heard Steve Kerr. Steve Kerr was being asked about, well, he was asked by Monty Poole, can you, will, you, will you just integrate Draymond back in when he can't? Kerr was like, that's just speculation. I don't know. We'll see. He he is. Wow, man. That's what he said and how he said it. What word? You already said it. I use distraught. Yeah, he's just. Disappointed? He's over it. And what about Loon Dog saying he's got to win our trust back? My yeah, question exactly. to Looney is, we got 82 games to play and trying to defend our title. When does that happen? And how would that happen, Steiny? Hey, Jordan, go get on his nerves every day for the next 15 days. See if he strikes you. Like, how do you get that trust back? Grow up. You know how many marriages are over it's because the- one decision somebody made the wrong decision? You don't get a second chance. Yeah, I I don't know what to say. I don't, I don't know where this goes. And the reason nobody knows where it's, it goes because there's a lot of information out there we don't have. Like, is he suspended right now? Steve Kerr basically said this is a mutual decision for the team and Draymond to stay apart. Are they just giving themselves time to to what? Wow. To trade Draymond? Wow. To decide what the discipline's going to be on Draymond, if any? To just give him space and Draymond will be back for ring night and <laughs> nothing to see here. Right. I don't know. And don't I'll know. say this to that, Stani. Maybe it might be so heavy to what you're saying if that's where it's going. I have no idea of knowing. But right now, I know I'm not the only Warrior fan thinking, he's skating right now. There is no punishment. And if it goes yeah. down the way, that road that you just mentioned, then that would explain why. But again, is, he so, is his presence so overbearing to where they're scared of him as an, as an organization to where you can't put the stamp of suspension on a vile act like that where he struck his teammate? And I watched that video again. I thought Jordan was looking at him. when jo- You know, because they're it's getting louder, Stiney. When you put your hands, especially here in the town of San Francisco, the Bay, you put your hands on somebody, you got to be ready. This is a teammate. Jordan pushed him and then looked back at practice. He didn't think Dre was going to fire on him. It was a cheap so it shot. Jim, Steven Jackson. It was a said. cheap God. shot. Right. Let's not get right. it twisted. Okay. Right. That's a cheap shot in any league. Yeah. Matt in Oakland. What's up, Matt? How you doing, buddy? Hey. Hey, hey Steiny. Guru. Hey. I don't call in often, but you guys are great. Um, I, I want to change it up a little bit. I think what he did was clearly just outrageous and unacceptable but i'm also a huge draymond fan through the years and i think even to the finals that he had some some you know some not great stuff but also some key performances at key times and so my question is when you look at this team and i saw that pool scored 25 points last night Mm -hmm. season whatever but who do you think more important yeah you know it is about championships who do you think is more important over the next Five years is probably too long of a horizon, but you, you get my question. I guess I'll leave it at that uh, and let you guys go with it. All right. I mean, to me, it's easy. It's Jordan Poole. It's not, you said you, easy. Jordan Poole had 25 points in 23 minutes last night. Like, not every player can do that. Hell, Draymond can't score 25 in three games. But the game's more ah, than cheap just, shot. I know. Yeah, okay. You know, look at cheap look, shot. You know what you're doing. It's more than just buckets. What about the move behind the back? KD commented on that. Uh, I didn't find that cool. fat. Like, I see Jordan do more. Well, because he didn't dunk it. <laughs> if it's not a dunk, you don't care. Ah, uh, Speaking of which, I sent you a video of some I didn't random. See it. D- you got to start hitting play. No. 
<laughs> you're blocked. Why don't you, if why don't you're not you gonna watch me, my material? Why don't you send me a video of a guy making a real fundamentally sound chess pass? Oh. That's what I'd like to see. <laughs> that ain't coming from mm -hmm. me. Yeah. Well, <laughs> go to Bay Rob. Bay Rob's in Frisco. What's up, man? What's up, Sonny and Goo? That, give it to us. Hey, check this out. Check this out. I'm just confused as y'all because I'm trying to figure out if something else. What escalated this for this dude to just snap like that? Mm. If we together every day, we play together, he look up as Draymond as his big brother. He's been mentoring this dude since day one, since this dude got here. So for him to do that, I'm really confused. I'm lost in the sauce, bro, on this one. And my only thing, go back to what you said, Guru, is it, is it Draymond got the fear of, damn, I'm, I'm, I'm the man out? Mm. Because if you think about it, they won't Steph Curry is off the table. Then the second golden child is Clay Thompson. So who would be out? It would be Draymond. So now here it is. Remember when Durant was there? Then the stuff happened with Durant because Draymond didn't know what was going to happen to him. Now here it is, Jordan Poole coming in. Now Draymond ain't going to know what's going to happen to him again. He's in the dark and he's lashing out. I just don't understand this dude. It just it's, it's confusing, bro. You know what I'm saying? To do your little brother like that, it's, it's just, it got me lost in the sauce. I wouldn't do none of my homies like that. Not over in the practice. You just see our dude came and walked over here. Mm. That was crazy. That's the least what we was expecting. And right. if anybody in your face, bro, that close, he was close enough to kiss him. I would have backed him up, too. It ain't like he pushed him like that. He like, dude, back up. And for him to launch like that, that was least expected, bro. But uh, uh, that ain't got me confused, man. For Pre real. Appreciate I'm it, Bayra. Appreciate man. it. I know what he's saying because uh, Draymond Green did spend time Saturday talking about how Jordan Poole still is guy. He he loves Jordan Poole. Yeah, we, he talked about how he's the reason Jordan Poole's locker is next to him because Draymond wanted to mentor him. So that's the other thing. If Draymond Green is somebody who's got a relationship with Poole that's a mentoring one, how the hell would Poole expect him to hit him in the face that quickly if there was any that's, kind of that's, mentorship And there. that's why I said he talked too soon. Because for your boy over here, I, it's nothing I needed to hear from Draymond. If that's love, I don't need it, bruh. If that's how you identify yourself as being a mentor, and again, this is not a push Evander Holyfield, Thomas Hearns, give me one more. Uh, George Roberto Foreman, Duran. Uh, Roberto Nomas, they would appreciate that punch, man. That's how sinister it was. So your words, come on, man. Let's go to Matthew and Martinez. What's up, Matthew and Martinez? How you doing? Lorenzo Neal coming up in 10 minutes. Lorenzo Neal, I'm sure he's seen a fight or two in his career. Though, again, let me stress, that was no fight. What's up, Matthew? How you doing? Hey, doing good, guys. Thanks for taking my call. Just like everybody else, I'm completely flabbergasted by Draymond's approach. I mean, if I'm Jordan Poole or I'm any of the young guys, I cannot be led by him. I think Draymond has lost all of his clout as a leader, and he was most valuable at this point in his career as a leader because his production number-wise is going down. And so I, uh, if I'm Jordan Poole and I see you know Draymond dancing and stuff and everything, I'm going to sign elsewhere next year. So if I was Lacob or Bob Myers, I'd go up to him right now and say, forget the tax, the tax bill or anything. We're signing you your contract. We'll foot it, but you're going to be the future and bridge the gap between the two generations. We want you here and we need you here. But instead... They're just dancing around Draymond's just terrible actions. And <sighs> if I'm Jordan Poole, I'm saying that like, okay, they got Draymond's back and not mine. I'm walking. Um, thanks for taking the call. I'll take your uh, comments off the air. Take care. I mean, from an outsider's perspective, looking in, acknowledging we don't no, know exactly yeah. what's going on in the inside. Yeah. Yeah, if Draymond, if uh, Jordan Poole's like, no, I'm not, I can't move forward. I don't think there's anybody that says, ah, oh, man. 
That's soft. That's weak. You ain't a team player. A team player would forgive Drake. You don't know that. Please. It's so. Stani, please. Yeah, you don't. Well, I think we do know that. That's asking too much. And again, I'm wondering if that's why Coach Kerr and what we've seen of him is not his normal self, Stani, is because he knows he played this game. And for the people that keep going to him and Jordan, he got off first. That means he fired first. So that's a fight. Forget the result. That's a fight. I swung at you. Yeah. What should the Warriors do? See, the, the, other, the other thing that really complicates things is the video. I mean, it just does. By all the looks of things, it seemed like what the Warriors were setting up before the video got leaked was... That was a fight at practice. We'll handle it internally, and Draymond will probably be back over the weekend. Then the video comes out, and everybody sees that it's worse than just a punch. It's more like an attack, an ambush. Well, now the, now the Warriors, they're in a tough spot now. And Dre mentioned that. Did you like that? What? He hated that the uh, video came out. <laughs> no kidding, right? But you can't say it up there. Well, he was. He, you know what? I'll give that doesn't Help bother me. me. It didn't. He was asked about the video leaking. He said, "Yeah, it kind of sucks that that happens happened." But he also said the video is no excuse for me. Like what I did was wrong. Uh, okay. Like yeah, the video is just out there. It stinks, and I'm answering your question because you asked me specifically about how I feel about the video being leaked, but. The reality is, the video being leaked doesn't matter because I was wrong. And I saw it, and it looked awful. So I, all right. I didn't mind his answer there at all. Uh, Joe in San Jose. Hey, Joe. What's up? What's going on, what's going on gentlemen? Hey. No, I, I, say, I see it like this. If Draymond's was in a bar, and someone's job jacking to him, and he did that to him, then it would be like, you know, okay, that's what... People do, you know. But on a team, a team, you have a brotherhood. You're on those planes. You're in the hotels. You're in the locker room for how many? Uh, how, six months. I mean, so you get to know each other. And then you're going to pull a stunt like that? I mean, uh, that candle's about to burn out, Draymond. You might have to go work with your boss over there in L.A. That's all I got. Man. Appreciate the call, man. Yeah, Warriors might have to put Draymond out. I'm just asking for accountability for anybody out there. Oh, Goo, you being extra? I haven't seen that. Oh, you want Dre gone? No, I don't. But I do want this, Donnie. And I've been wanting this since this video uh, dropped the other day. Accountability. And right now, the fact that we don't know for sure if this dude is suspended, I just feel like he's Frankenstein. 